What up, No Chefs? It's DJ here. I'm here to bring y'all another bomb recipe from my heart to your plate. I hope you guys enjoyed this. So I'm making my own take on some bangalang and shrimp. I'm, I, I made the name of bangalang because I know people call them bang bang, people call them boom boom, but they're gonna be bangalang and shrimp. I have some bangalang and shrimp with some vegetable fried rice in a pineapple bowl. Uh, so I'm gonna start out by showing you guys how to make the bangalang and sauce. Uh, you're gonna get some mayo, sriracha, uh, sweet chili sauce, which this is not the particular brand that I would have chosen because I would prefer to have gotten like an actual Asian brand, but this is all they had at the store. Um, so if you can't find it in the international aisle, just get the uh, Frank's um, Red Hot Sweet Chili. And then I'm gonna use some garlic uh, to bring in some flavor. All right, so I'm gonna start out with about a cup of my mayo. And I have my bowl here. So I'm gonna put about a cup of that in there. I mean, to be honest, anything with mayo is delicious to me. Like any kind of mayo-based sauce is a friend of mine. So I'm gonna do that. I don't wanna to make too much because sometimes we don't use it all. I'm gonna put about a fourth of a tablespoon of sriracha. I don't want it to be too, too spicy. Hit my tummy. And then I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of, um, maybe two tablespoons of sweet chili sauce. I just kind of eye it. Like y'all know I be eyeing it. I don't really be counting. Cause I don't know how to count. Well, and obviously you're gonna taste it. If it doesn't taste how you want it, just adjust as, uh, as needed. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of garlic paste in there. If you guys have noticed, I do love using garlic paste. It's just easy. And you know, we like to keep it easy around here. So I'm gonna mix that up and see what, you know, should be a nice orange color. Oh, it already smells delicious. I might need to add some more um, sweet chili to it. <clears throat> just a little bit. That's good. And then maybe just a tad bit more sriracha because the color is a little bit pale. I'm gonna do that. Mix that thing up like that. The thing look good. And obviously add more sriracha if you want it to be spicy, extra spicy, or you could add some uh, chili flakes to it as well. Um, so that is done. That's how it's gonna look. I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna uh, get my shrimp ready to fry. Actually, Mama Bree's gonna help me fry those because I'm not much of a fry kind of person. Um, and then I'm gonna make the vegetable fried rice. Our vegetable fried rice is gonna have peas, carrots. And those are frozen peas and carrots. You can get those in the, in the freezer aisle. And I'm gonna uh, chop up uh, an, uh, and a yellow onion and then some eggs and some other stuff. So let's do it. So this is what's gonna go in my rice, just the first part of the uh, vegetable fried rice. I'm gonna saute some onions, the peas and carrots. I got some ginger, some fresh ginger, cause ginger just makes everything taste better and it makes your tummy feel good. And then I got some scallions. So I'm gonna use some of these to put in the actual um, vegetable mix, but I'm gonna leave some as a garnish on top as well. So I'm gonna chop these up, move them over here to this beautiful big old pan. I'm gonna put butter in this, and I know that's coming. So, here we go. All right, guys, so I chopped up my onions, I put those in there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna add my frozen carrots. They're frozen, so I didn't have to chop them. Make your lives easier, guys. <clears throat> Unless you really like it, you know, fresh, fresh, fresh. Then do what you gotta do, but we're trying to make this as convenient as possible and delicious as possible. All right, so I'm gonna add, uh, some ginger to this, a little bit of garlic paste, let those flavors all get all married and stuff. And then um, I'll be right back. All right. All right, guys, this is looking good right here. So now I've got, I have a grater. I have my peeled ginger. I'm gonna add a little bit of this to my um, vegetables. Give it some good ginger flavor. And then I'll probably use some of this for the um, for the rice as well, just to put inside the rice. And again, guys, ginger's good for your tummy. You wanna get all that inside of there, scoop it on out. 
Ah, oh, the smell is just, whew. Oh, I'm doing it on the wrong side, y'all. The smell is great. Ah, so I'm gonna save a little bit for later, okay? So that's how that looks. I also added some of the green onions, the scallions in there. So I'm gonna mix that up, let that cook still, and then we'll get started on the rice, the rice, the rice. My mom made the rice already, Mama Bruce. And for fried rice, you wanna have it uh, cold so that it doesn't get mushy um, when you're frying. Make it, chill it, put it in the skillet. Let's make some fried rice. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it in there. It seems like it's pretty cooled off. I'm gonna dump that in there. And I'm gonna immediately add my soy sauce. I'm gonna put about maybe a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of sesame oil because this is very potent, so you don't wanna do too, too much. So I'm gonna mix it on the Oh, it smells good, doesn't it, Mom? Mm -hmm. Mama Bree's filming for me right now. And I appreciate her so much. And I love her so much. And feel free to add as much or as little sesame and soy sauce. I always say, you know, do your thing. I'm going to add some more soy sauce because I like mine a little bit more on the soy side. You get frying up in there? Pop, pop, pop. All right, guys, you see how I scooted over the rice? I'm making room for my scrambled eggs here because I'm putting egg in this. I'm going to put some butter on this side. You don't really have to use butter, as Mama Bree just reminded me, but as you guys probably have figured out, I just love me some butter. So that's that. So we're scrambling the eggs and then we're gonna come pour them in here in a second. It looks like a face. There's the eyeballs and there's the mouth. Big mouth. All right, Mama Bree about to pour the eggs in. We did four scrambled eggs. You wanna pre-scramble them. Put them in a bowl and scramble them things up, you know? And I'm gonna mix them up and then we'll scramble them on in this pot. Make sure your heat's at a good, maybe a little bit above medium. All right, guys, I'm gonna scramble these things and then we'll be back. All right, guys, I am scrambling up here. All right, take a look at my scrambled eggs. They're getting almost finished. Just wanna make sure they're nice and scrambled and done. These eggs look good, like I'm ready for breakfast. All right, finishing up there. Yep, yep, these are almost done. And then also, you know, I know you want to cook them separately, but honestly, it's all going to cook, so as long as you continue cooking after this, you know, the eggs are going to get thoroughly done. All right, and now I think I'm ready to mix this sucker together, baby. Now, as I like to say, let all the flavors have an origin. Let the flavors have an origin. Make them feel good. Look at that. You know, some people like their uh, little pieces of egg fat, but I like mine. Evenly distributed. Put it on over there. Make sure we make sure they're done five or six eggs, but I think that's enough. We'll have protein from the shrimp. So that's gonna mix, that's gonna sit for a bit, let all the flavors have a party. And then uh, Mama Bree's gonna show us how she's gonna make this shrimp. So that's coming right up. All right guys, these are the shrimp we got. These are Carolina fresh caught here in the Carolinas. I don't know why I have a, an accent, but Mama Bree's gonna peel them. Okay, guys, I'm gonna peel them. I'm gonna leave the tail on. I'm gonna fry these. The tail on, I give you, it's like an ice cream cone, but for shrimp, you know? That's the tail is the cone, and the meat is the ice cream. And of course, you wash your hands first. I already washed my hands. Always wash your hands first. You want a clean hand and a clean kitchen. Meanwhile, my uh, my rice over there is uh, frying up still and cooking. Always wipe as you go. Wipe as you go. As you cook. Three, one for you, two for me. All right, guys, so we'll show you guys how this is going to look after. And then uh, I'll show you what she's going to fry it in and how she's going to fry it. All righty. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna cut this pineapple to make our pineapple bowl. This is my first time doing this, to be quite honest, so I have no clue of what I'm doing. So, wish me luck. Well, that was actually pretty easy. I'm strong. Sugar. All right, so that's our uh, cut in half pineapple and I'm gonna dig out the guts, but I don't know how to do that yet either. So we'll be back with that. So I'm gonna cut the guts out. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, so don't don't judge me. Or judge me, I don't really care. At this point. There's nothing to it but to do it. There's nothing to it but to do it. The only thing you can do is try. And I guess uh, I'm assuming not to cut too deep either, so that you don't cut through the pineapple. I think I, maybe a spoon would help. Oh, this thing juicy. Oh, this thing's really juicy. I feel like I'm gonna slurp it out. I know. You wanna slurp it? No, cause it ain't clean. It ain't clean. That's how they make crushed pineapple right here. All right. All right. So we are using this tempura batter. Um, I, I got, I bought it from um, H Mart. So I just bought it to try it. Um, so I need a cup of that. We know this is only for uh, liquids, but we're using it for dry ingredients too, so. Okay, and I gotta mix it with some water. Hold on. While she's doing that, these are the shrimp. I patted them to get them as dry as possible. She's deveined them and split them, butterflied them. Uh, but you want your fried foods, anything you fry to be dry because you don't want water content. Okay, so I'm mixing the water in here and it has to be cold water. Yeah. And too much batter. Back to the top, it's ready. Oh, it's ready. that thing ready. All right, so we're gonna dip our shrimpy scroops in the tempura batter. And then we are going to fry these puppies. All right. We get all the, access, uh, the excess stuff off. About to be at the thing on China Express. Wow. Okay, so it's, it almost looks like sweet and sour um, shrimp. It is sweet and sour shrimp. Scrappy scrumps. All right, guys, I'll show you all the finished product. So you're gonna fry these for about how long, Mom? Well, until they, yeah, sure. until they turn golden brown. Because right. shrimp don't take long to cook. So we'll be back. Batch. Look at my shrimp and pie. Oh, Why are you so excited? Because she did it. We can do shrimp tempura and veggies. Wow, look at that. Look at that. All right, y'all. So our shrimp tempura, our fried shrimp is done. And now I'm going to plate the vegetable fried rice, the shrimp, and my pineapple that I've hollowed out, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, this is the finished product. I got my bangalang and shrimp and vegetable fried rice, pineapple bowls with my bangalang and shrimp sauce. I'm gonna dip those, put scrimpies right there and there. We're gonna be good to go, baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you guys watching. Bon appetit.